Pro. Good morning, guys. Today is Friday, the 23rd of February. It is just after 9 a.m. I have just fed the dogs and they're outside running around somewhere, and I'm about to do my cardio. Today is steady state cardio. I've had two hit sessions this week, two steady states, and then two days of walking at for about 10 to 20 minutes, which will be done on my high carb days on Saturday and Sunday. My macros have all been changed up this week. I have changed to five lower days followed by two higher days. My higher days have been dropped down a little bit, but because of when I got my new targets, I had already done three low days. So I had to continue on to do my five low days. So I'm technically on my eighth low carb day and to be honest i don't mind it i find the low carb days a little bit easier because i think your body just kind of switches off and gets used to it whereas when you go back to having a high carb day you get super hungry because it's like it ignites something in your body that just wants more and more food so i find the higher carb days a little bit more difficult when it comes to like stopping myself eating my weight is down this week it had plateaued and have been wavering around the same weight, going up and down for about two weeks and i feel like it's finally starting to drop drop now again it was in around the 116 117 mark and this morning and the last couple of days i've been down into the 115s today hitting a new low weigh-in of 115.4 pounds so as i've said in previous videos my goal weight for stage is about 108 pounds we will have to wait and see what my body looks like because i haven't competed or stepped on stage in two and a half years so obviously my body will have made some changes i've gained muscle in some areas and hopefully i will be coming in in better condition this time but that's not to say that i'll be coming in at the exact same way but i do like to have a guideline weight that I want to come in at. The last time I stepped on stage, I was 107 pounds. So I have allowed for an extra pound or two of muscle gain, but at the same time, I do want to come in in better conditions. So I'm really unsure of what weight I will actually be on stage this time, but it is nice to have a ballpark figure of 108. So as I'm just over six weeks out, and I usually tend to look at losing one pound per week. I think it is most likely that I will be at about 109 pounds, maybe down to the 108 if I lose a little bit more weight on certain weeks. So I'm gonna do my cardio now and then I'll update you throughout the day. I've done my cardio, I've had a coffee and one of my carrot cake muffins and I am currently making Lex some breakfast. Every morning I've been making him porridge oats because number one, it's been super cold here and I feel like that warms him up. Number two, the oats have like a low GI so there's like slow release. I think they keep him fuller for longer because he was having fruit or cereal in the morning and because they are higher in sugar, they are burning off a lot quicker and then he's getting kind of hungry later on in the day. So I think that the porridge might be helping him stop snacking. So if you're a guy or a girl and you feel like you get very peckish halfway through the day and you're just like feeling kind of snacky all the time, maybe just try switching it up with some porridge. I'm going to do a video on my cooking channel and have three different oats recipes just so you can change it up and it's not just plain old porridge. Because my food is so boring, I'm choosing to record Lex's. And my camera wouldn't focus on me so and I said emo. it was cause- Emo, <laughs> such an emo. I said, I'm so ugly my camera won't focus on me. What, 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 what? No man has ever said that to himself, ever. She's wrong with you people. But I've topped his porridge with some bananas and some fruit syrup. Oh, I did not see them in honey. God's sake, God, Jesus. Guess I'll eat it. Spoon! What is your fingers like peasant? Oh, Jay's ruined. Lex is up. He hasn't had his cup of tea yet, and as you can see, he's a little bit grumpy. But I put this um, sweet freedom fruit syrup on top. It's vegan, because obviously not made with honey. And what's it made with? Apples, grapes, and carob, apparently. Hmm. It tastes good. 
lower in sugar. Yeah, there's only 66 grams of sugar per hundred, as opposed to 100. Bailey, why are you depressed? I have had a farting problem for the last three weeks, of, and the problem is I cannot do the same amount of fart as normal. Why did you fall over? Because my fart keeping me balanced, and without the fart, I fall. Roxy, what's she doing? Why are you depressed, Bailey? Is it because your bed is in the washing machine and you're not, they're not very happy the fact that their bed is in the washing machine? I have no home. <laughs> it's, 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 so she's homeless. just gonna lie here, showing her belly to people. It is breakfast time for me right now and I'm gonna have an omelette and here's all the ingredients. Main ingredient, egg whites. I get these from Muscle Food. You can get them in packs of sixes and guys, you can freeze them. I'm also gonna be adding in two different types of cheeses. I've got the grated protein cheese from Muscle Food as well and I've got this Apatina one which tastes like feta kind of goat's cheese and just gives it a really nice flavor. I've got loads of spinach but obviously spinach is magical and shrinks down to about a tenth of its size. I've got some red bell pepper, red onion, loads of mushrooms, I've got some of these sun-dried tomatoes. Now you can get these that are not stored in oil, so then they're lower in fat. And then I've got some bacon medallions all diced up. I just fry it up in a small frying pan, either using the Fry Light garlic spray or the chili one, depending on my mood. I might mix the two of them together, you know, have a bit of a cocktail omelet. And I'm just gonna be using a small pan on the heat, medium heat. <coughs> Cook up your veggies first, then I add in the meat, let that cook off, then add in my egg whites, then the cheese on top. If you want to add in any seasoning, salt, pepper, do it freely. And then I usually just put it under the grill. That's my technique to get it looking perfect. So I just seal it underneath, under the grill to finish, and then you've got the perfect egg white omelette. Here we have my omelette perfection. It looks so delicious. The habit of topping it with some blend bros. Sweet chili sauce, I love it. You get it in Asda and it's amazing and it's sugar free. I usually add in about 15 grams, something like that. And per 15 grams, it's 0.6 grams of carbs. That's like nothing. I've just had a nice big cup of coffee, my afternoon caffeine fix with one of the Stax bars. This is a Stax bar. You will not regret it. Go to Muscle Food now, order a box of them, order 12 of them, order 24 of them. They are amazing. Just don't eat more than one in a day. They'll make you poop. I've only had one, so I'm allowed to go to the gym. And I'm gonna train back and shoulders today. Tomorrow is going to be quad day, and then Sunday I'm taking a day off, and I'm going to meet some friends for brunch because it's a high day, and I can easily, easily track a brunch into my day. I am just in from the gym. I did a really quick back and shoulder workout, and I didn't want to film it because I just wanted to get in, get my workout done, because I knew when I got home, I'd get to eat. And I'm starving, I'm hungry. I've been kind of spacing out my food on my low carb days. Today is my last low carb day of eight days. And I've been spacing out my food, so I'll have like a big meal in the morning um, with my omelette, etc. I'll have like a snack of a protein bar halfway through the day, and then I'll have a big meal at night followed by a shake or something. To be honest, I just wanna get into the gym and get home so I can eat my main meal after the gym. And that's all I felt like doing today. I've had a pretty sedentary day. I did my cardio this morning and then I kinda of just sat and was going through my social media, just working online. So I didn't really do anything that interesting to share with you guys so that's why it's been a pretty short vlog today but i'm going to continue this vlog tomorrow because i want to just get more content and share my physique update etc with you so that is my dinner for my low carb days i've been kind of just batch cooking food so um i'll batch cook a load of chicken i'll batch cook a load of veggies like brussels sprouts and um, sweet potato, asparagus, and then I'll just put it in Tupperware and then weigh out all the individual pieces and just and just make up meals from that. So what you heard in the microwave was my quinoa and lentil 
microwave thing from Asda, which has been saving me. It's so filling and it's only like 11 carbs per bag, but there's like loads in it. And then I add in little bits of diced sweet potato and my veggies, top it with chicken, and it's just a simple but filling meal. So I'm just trying to be clever with my food so I don't feel starving because I do get hungry. I'm just kind of grumpy halfway through the day. So I think I really look forward to my evening meal now. It's like, yeah, it's what I'm looking forward to. Roxy, what do you want? Do you want to go outside to dad? Anyone else have a very demanding pug? She literally just stands and cries when she wants something. Very demanding. But I'm gonna go and eat my food now. I've been really looking forward to it. So it'll probably be demolished in about like five seconds. And then tomorrow's my high carb day. And I think Lex is bringing me on a date because you can still enjoy social occasions and do stuff when you're on prep. You shouldn't be denying yourself. A lot of times I might go to the cinema not because I'm like crazy for popcorn or something, but more so because um, I feel really tired in the evenings to be honest. So that's the only thing that's holding me back right now is that I'm a lot more tired. But definitely the food is not holding me back from socializing. So here we have my epic meal of chicken, quinoa, lentils, asparagus, sweet potato, Brussels sprouts, and some feta cheese for flavor. I'm probably gonna add in a little bit of blend bros again, maybe the barbecue, mm -hmm. because I'm all about flavor and keeping my food fun throughout my prep. I'm not just gonna give up on interesting food for anything. Sorry. Final meal of my day today. I demolished my dinner, FYI. I'm having one of my delicious shakes, which I make super thick, so I have to eat it with a spoon, which makes it all the better. And I'm going to have one of my chocolate truffles. Yeah, because I still eat chocolate, even though I'm on prep. And the recipe is up on my cooking YouTube, just go and check it out now. I'll link my cooking channel at the end of the video and in the description box. If you haven't subscribed, go and subscribe because all my recipes are there. And I'll be adding loads more. I'm gonna go and enjoy this now and I will chat to you tomorrow. Today is Saturday the 23rd of February, I think. And today is my first higher carb day in eight days. So I've had eight days of low carbs. Today I get a higher carb day. I'm not calling it a high carb day because it is not technically a high carb day. It's just higher than I have been having. And I get two of them in a row. I weighed in today at a new low weigh-in. Woohoo! I actually did a little happy dance on the scales because I weighed in at 115 pounds. My progress and my achievement is not based on the scales. So don't get that confused. I feel that when I step on the scales and it's down, I can just see the progression a little bit more clearly because I have been up and down over the past two weeks and I was really happy to see that 115, bang on, when I'm going into a high carb day, it just makes me feel happier about going into a higher carb day. Feeling a lot leaner. I don't feel tight though, because I feel like you need the carbs to like, push the muscles against the skin and make you have that kind of tight full feeling so right now i'm feeling quite flat to be honest because i don't have much carbs in my system i'm so depleted right now and my body is just craving these carbs today so i'm not going to go crazy around them because it isn't a super high carb day it is just higher than i have been on the past eight days so this morning i'm just going to have some scrambled egg whites as usual with some cheese in it uh, i'm going to have some bacon and i'm going to put them in a tesco whole meal muffin i'm just going to toast one of these up Ugh. my hair's all like freshly washed so it's like has a life of its own i'm going to toast one of these muffins up now and that'll be 26 grams of carbs for that but totally worth it and then i'm going to go and get my car washed while my car is being washed i'm going to go hit the gym it's quad day again today my coach doesn't want me doing a lot of cardio today because he wants me to just soak up all those carbs today as opposed to like using them in my workout while i drop off my car to get it cleaned i'm going to walk to the gym and that'll be my cardio it's only like a five five ten minute walk and then 
I'll do my workout and then walk back, collect my car, and that'll be my cardio done. When I get home from the gym, I will do a physique update because I am now six weeks and one day out from my show. So it's like my six week check-in with you guys. I just wanted to share something with you guys. I don't know if anyone else does this, if they're dieting or doing a competition prep, but I like to keep a treat jar. So I've got a jar and it's like, if I get any like little treats, like our friends brought us these like little Reese's eggs and I saw these little Reister bunnies that were on sale and I just put them in this little jar and then I just keep them till after my prep is over. I've done that since I've been doing competitions. So for the past five years, I've always kept a little stash for myself. I think it might stem back from when I was younger and at Lent, you'd give up chocolate and sweets and then any gifts you got from like your parents' friends of like a sweet or a chocolate, I used to put it in a little box and save it until Easter, till I was allowed to eat it. So now as an adult, I've got my treat jar. So we'll build on that for the next six weeks and I'll have a nice little stash for a competition day. <laughs> I am in from the gym. I've just had another coffee. I've been milking the coffees quite literally today. I'm gonna to do a quick physique update for you guys because I am now six weeks out and I just want to show you what I'm looking like so that you can see the improvements week to week.